video we'll be looking at distillation and we will be doing a system to separate propane from hexane ipentane we'll be using the peng robinson as the basis we'll define a feed We'll define that feed with conditions of molar flow 1,000, pressure 5 atmospheres, and temperature of 30 degrees Celsius. Composition as seen here. Most times you would choose to feed your distillation column with a liquid close to its saturation point. If you don't know or its bubble point, if you don't know that, it's quite simple to find it in HISIS. Given a pressure, you can find the bubble point by placing the D vapor fraction equals zero. You can see here that 31.33 degrees is the bubble point. We'll place our stream at 30 degrees. It's just below bubble point. Now, Distillation is a fairly complex operation. Determining what column would do the service is, in fact, a fairly complex calculation. We can do, however, shortcut calculations like that allow us to predict for multi-component distillation how many trays would be needed, what is the minimum reflux ratio, and so on. To do these, we would use the columns, shortcut distillation column. We will add the feed, specify the phase of the outlet, specify that we want a distillate stream, condenser duty, Boiler duty, sorry, and a bottoms product. Next, we specify the light key in the bottoms, and this would be the propane. And next, we do the heavy key in the distillate. You can choose either hexane or pentane. In this case, we will choose the hexane. The mole fraction of propane that we want, and note this is mole fraction. Most times we're giving that in percent, like for instance, 3% propane in the tops would be equivalent to 0 0.0003 mole fraction of propane. The hexane in a similar manner you can specify. Generally speaking the top of a distillation column is at a lower pressure than the bottom. The pressure the distillation column is kept at determines the relative boiling points of the various liquids. As long as this pressure is lower than the pressure of the feed stream, you should get no warnings as the feed should be able to enter the column. We'll use 4.5 atmospheres and 4.8 atmospheres. Now, if you get a minimum reflux ratio less than zero, it means that your column is not physically feasible. In this case, we can choose that the ipentane is the component which is the heavy key in the distillate. We want to separate the propane from the other liquids. Therefore, the selection of the heavy key in the distillate is not critical for us. The external reflux ratio we'll use is 2. 
which is greater than the minimum reflux ratio. Note the column solves, and under the performance tab, we can get the number of trays required to do the separation, the condenser temperature, the reboiler temperature, and the other information with respect to the column. Take note of the distillate rate, 550 kilogram moles per hour. We will now build a full distillation column for this service. We will copy the feed stream and we will add from the columns menu distillation column. Next, we will configure the column. As we saw, the optimum feed tray location was tray 5 in a 10 tray column. We will put the Q condenser 1, making sure not to reuse names. The bottoms 1. Next, we must determine what type of column it is. In this case, the column that we will be using is a full reflux column, as we are only interested in recovering propane in the gaseous form of the tops. Name that distillate one. Next. Next, we will specify that the reboiler uses a standard HISIS reboiler and enter our column pressures the same as the shortcut column. There is no need to specify temperature estimates, but if specified, they can aid in the solution speed. The reflux ratio of 2 and the vapor rate of 550 kilogram moles per hour. If you recall, the reflux rate was specified in the distillation column, in the shortcut distillation column, and the distillate rate was gotten as a result of the shortcut distillation column. done. Your column has been set up and is very close to an actual solution. At this point you can run the column and you should get a solution in a, fa in a quick manner. The reason the solution was gotten so quickly is because the shortcut distillation column gave us good initial values to use as estimates. Note the temperature of the top and bottom are very close to the shortcut distillation column's temperatures. In the next video, we will be looking at changing specifications with the column, within the column so that we can arrive at the design that we desire.